Let's jump in here, fellas. Cheddar, I want to call this guy your favorite fighter in the UFC, of but all he's time. not your favorite fighter. Okay, thank you. There you go. Um, <laughs> Charles Oliveira, man, coming in, being disrespected. Plus 185 on the money line. Armin Saryukin coming in minus 225. I know Armin is a hell of a fighter, man, but Charles Oliveira, 185 here. Do you think this line's disrespectful? Uh, well, what a, what a question that is. Do you know what the line was on Islam Makachev versus Charles Oliveira? It was lower. Yeah. Oliveira yeah. was a plus 170 underdog in that fight. And now against Armin Sarukian, a guy who hasn't really had a top five contender fight yet, he's a plus 185 against the former champ who defended his belt mm. multiple times against the guy who just absolutely ragdolled every boxer that he, that he faced in that run. This is mm-hmm. just so disrespectful to Charles. I mean, I could have seen a pick him or maybe a Charles plus 110, but plus 185 is ridiculous. Um, people think he lost a step or that the Benil fight wasn't really that valid for some reason. That's ridiculous. Armin Sarukian, that said, Armin Sarukian is an unbelievable wrestler. The guy's mm-hmm. just chain wrestler, super, super aggressive, high cardio. He's got some good boxing. He, he did get tagged in one fight, and he recovered by being able to just basically lay on the guy's legs. He fought uh, Silva. Um, and, uh, and that's just never going to happen against Charles. Charles isn't going to let you take him down like that. Not, not at Armin Sarukian. Not after he mm-hmm. rocks you. He's going to finish you, and he's going to backpack him. And I think he's going to tap him out in maybe the second round. Wow. All right, Anthony Hirsch, man, what are you doing here? Are you on Olives as well, man, or do you think that Armin here is the move? Like, are we forgetting that Oliver is arguably the best finisher in UFC history? Like, it seems like everything gets forgotten about. I get it that Sarukin, you know, I think he's kind of graduated beyond just being a prospect at this point. I think he can start calling him a phenom. But like, you know, like Edward saying right here, the fact that this dude is a wrestler, like through and through, this dude's a wrestler. And granted, he's very good in that regard. But how many mm-hmm. times have we seen Oliveira take down some of these younger prospects who are good wrestlers? He almost like is now the kind of, you know, the gatekeeper, if you will, from true legitimacy, especially at that weight class right there. And Sarukian, I just don't think he has it. If he's able to stay on his feet right there, I think this is actually a very easy finish for Oliveira. This is crazy disrespectful. I get it that Sarukin's climbing up the ranks. You know, he's going to get there. He's going to get his shot. But at the end of the day, quit disrespecting Oliveira because he has experience on his side and he's just the better overall fighter this is honestly shocking when you look at this line it's like how do you look anywhere else than going with Oliveira unless you're going looking another way right here Riggs gentlemen I'm sorry oh I'm very very <laughs> sorry I'm going Armin but I'm going to spice it up a little bit I have to find value somewhere I'm going to go with Armin by decision at plus 325 here I think that Charles Oliveira is not going to get finished in this fight. I think if anything, he he might get beat up a little bit, whatever, but I don't see him getting finished here. And likewise, I don't know if Armin's going to lose here, man. And if he does lose, I don't think he loses by finish. It's going to be a great fight. I love Charles. The odds makers got to be onto something here. Honestly, deep, deep down, I hope I'm wrong because I'm an Olives fan, but at plus 325, I got to take a shot here with Armin and just try my luck. Cheddar, anything else here? The scariest dude in the room is the dude who believes he's been illuminated by God. <laughs> and Charles That's believes true. it, man. That dude believes it. He walks in there with the weight of Brazil behind him, right? Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. Armin is such a good wrestler, but yeah, no, there's no way I'm passing this money line up. Not just because he's my favorite. I just, you know, he. I just see this thing. Second round, something's happening. And I think it's going to be a backpack. But respect the decision. If you got to go with Armin, if you have to bet him, I would bet him my decision as well. 